Tom here from Tom Vapes. I'm having real trouble finishing off this video. I think it's like my third or fourth attempt and I managed to finish it, was happy with the video and then deleted my whole intro. So ignore the ending where I said I'm finishing this review on a different day and I'm dressed different and in a different room because I'm not. So what I've got to review today is the KTS Plus. It's a GG clone mod. Um, and I've got two of them because I bought one and it was taking that long to come. I bought another one. So now I've got two. Um, so, what I'm going to do is my usual thing. I'm going to go to the um, close up cam and I'll show you, take it apart, show you how it all works, and then we'll. Uh, come back and I'll show you how it vapes. So these are the two KTSs in the two in two different sizes. This is the KTS Plus, sorry. This is the in um, 18650 mode and this is it in 18350 mode. Uh, <coughs> as you can see the difference with them is this uh, extension middle section is more extended and then there's this other extension ring in it there. Um, now with um, with the threads fully extended and that's that one there and then if you pull this one out to its full extension which is about there somewhere there should be enough room in there for a kick for somebody that wants a kick. Now I've got a couple of kicks on their way so I'll be able to do some reviews and explain those. There should be enough room in there for one. Yeah, I think you'd probably be able to do it. So I'll take it apart. This is your top section where your atomizer screws in. It's not ego threaded. It's a 510 connection. That's that extension ring there. And your battery. I'll move that to the side. That's the middle section. Your bottom and your section with your button. Now I'll explain these two together. This button's got a locking ring on it. A couple of turns in it, so it's got only small. The throws small on the button and it works pretty well. And how it works, this little brass connection, when you press the button, touches the put this post and makes the connection. It works brilliantly, no misfires, you can press the button anywhere you want, edge, middle, doesn't matter, works every time. Um, the button's not really big enough for you to press it anywhere apart from in the middle anyway. Uh, it's a very comfortable button. Couple of vent holes on the top of the button there. If you're one of the very, very unlucky people and you get a, a battery vent in. Um, now you can only put the battery in from the top, as you can see. You can't put it in the bottom here because of the, the way the battery works. It just fits in there nicely. <clears throat> And to screw it all back together. Screw that in there. To somewhere around about there. Now, if you're going to put it into 18350 mode, you screw it right down. Leave off this section and just put that straight on. Screw it right down. I'm going to put this one back into 18650 mode. Screw that on there. Slide your battery in. Now the I forgot to mention about the top pin is slightly adjustable because it's in a rubber type. Uh, it moves slightly, um, so I haven't had a problem getting any devices flush on it. Um, but uh, the ones I've mainly been using it on it have got their own adjustable pins. So 
uh, I can't go through every device that I've got, uh, every tank that I've got, and name whether it's fits flush. Um, but I can't remember any that haven't fit flush on it. So that's it. Very. I've done this review a couple of times now because I haven't been happy with certain parts of it. Uh, and I've had them a couple of months now. No, how long? Um, month, six weeks. They're starting to get a bit scratched, but that's because they're so shiny, and that was I was expecting that anyway. But there's been no major problems with them, um, and they're not as scratched as some of the other clones. Um, the silver's not worn away, really. As it sometimes does with chromed mods and clones. Um, so, right, that's those two. I'll go back to normal cam and I'll give my final thoughts. Guys, so this is the KTS with my Pro Tank Two on it, which I've got a review on. Not the best one to stick on there, as you can see, it's got a bit of a lip. It's the only one I could find lying around. Um, as I say, I, as you can tell from the beginning of the video, I'm dressed different in a different room. I did this review about three weeks ago. I was not happy with everything I said and um, never got around to correcting it. But that's turned out to be a good thing because I've used the KTS for a while longer. Um, and overall I think it's a really good clone for the price um, everything really I've not really had any troubles there's a little bit of voltage drop um, now I've seen a couple of videos where people um, have sanded down the chroming on the post at the bottom and on uh, on your pin here, your center pin. Um, now I'm going to get round to do. I, I will do that at some point, and possibly I will do a video of actually sanding it down, taking it apart, sanding it down, and I'll do it on one of them, and not on the other, and then I'll compare the two. <clears throat> and then you can make up your minds whether the effort's worth it and whatever. It's a very, it's, it's a very small voltage drop. I can't remember what it was. 0 0.4, 0 0.5 of a volt, I think. That does make a difference. Um, that can make a difference depending on what device, what tank you're using and whatever on the top. Anyway. I'll give you give this a vape and show you what it's like. Um, this battery has been off charge for a while. Um, I'm going to try it on this and I'll, I'll show you on this one. This battery has been off charge for 20 minutes. So, um, Pro Tank coiling here is not new. All my coils were new when I when I, I got a battery vape mail. These some other tanks. Um, some liquids and I was going to do reviews and I haven't got around to it all my coils now are a, a couple of weeks old so it's not going to be running too cracking and as you can see it's nearly empty this is Totally Wicked Apple 11 milligram I could actually fill it up now but um, yeah 11 milligram Totally Wicked Apple so I'll give this a vape So, it's not too bad, vapor reduction is quite good. You can never tell well in these rooms as they're all painted white. And vapor production is not just dependent on your mod or your tank. I think this liquid's quite heavy uh, PG. Um, so vapor production is not going to be the best.
so as you can see, it's not, it's, vapor reduction is good. And it's probably a lot better than what you can tell because of the white background. Um, so, overall, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very good mod. And I like how this one, how small this one is, it's definitely a perfect stealth vaping mod when you've got it in. Uh, 18350 mod. I mean, it's it's tiny. It's as big, just not much bigger than the Pro Tank. So it's a perfect stealth vape if that's what you're after, or oh, just it for ease of carrying it around in your pocket. Don't even notice when that's in your pocket with uh, something like a Pro Tank on it. You wouldn't ever know. So that's KTS. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe or watch my other ones.